Bill Anderson, you're chasing a story. It's about a young man who went missing, uh, but it's a bigger story than that. There is an epic search going on involving federal law enforcement, local law enforcement. What do you got? Yeah, 21 year old Shane Montgomery got together with friends on Thanksgiving Eve. They decided to celebrate a little bit. Uh, they were hanging out at Kildare's in Manny Young section of Philadelphia. And shortly after 1 a.m., apparently the bouncer asked Shane to leave the bar because he bumped into the DJ booth. That was early Thursday morning, and sadly, Shane hasn't been seen since. So I went back to Manny Young to retrace the steps that police believe Shane may have taken. Started off at Kildare's, across the street to the canal that they dredged on Sunday with no signs of Shane. And I spoke to Shane's mom. She told me that Manny Young has now been searched closely. Now they're hoping that people will expand the search and they can come up with something. Any kind of information, I think, is what now we're trying to find anything. The response to Shane's disappearance has been overwhelming. Hundreds of people came together and have been searching for him. They were using a local church as a staging area. The Facebook page grew to over 10,000 likes in just a couple of days. And Shane's father told me that he's so appreciative of all the help that they've gotten from everyone, but he's not surprised because that's just the kind of young man that Shane was. And it just shows you what kind of kid Shane is, what, what kind of man he is. And he's terribly missed by his mother, his father, and everybody. His mom also told me that as people question whether or not Shane may have been into something negative and that may have mm. led to this, she said she had the kind of relationship with her son that if he had trouble, she would have known it. Shane was honest with me to a point of sometimes embarrassment where I would go, whoa, too much information, dude, but I was glad that he told me the things he knows, so I know a lot about Shane that people wouldn't necessarily know about their own children. The family is pursuing any and every option, but what they're asking us to do is look at the pictures we've been showing throughout this entire story, uh, and if you know anything about Shane, please get in touch with the police. You're going to put stuff on our Facebook page, uh, the number for the local police, and uh, where people can go if they know anything, see anything, heard anything. Yeah, and the family just wanted to make clear, it doesn't necessarily have to be anything suspicious, right. and they think that may be confusing people. You didn't have to see a fight. You didn't have to see somebody right. stumbling. Just look at this picture, and if yeah. you saw him, that'll help.